Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Alright guys, so I got this uh, tire changer I'd like to go over with you today, guys. Now this is old. I got this back in 2005. Um, it finally broke. My uh, my son was using it for uh, a family member. They put a big cheater pipe on the uh, handle back here and busted uh, busted it in half here. And they busted uh, one of the uh, pieces off here. Now this arm right here is uh, cast, cast aluminum. And they also cracked some of this uh, ring right here which is used to uh, hold the tire down i took it to work and i got it um got it welded back up but um why they broke this when they went and bought another one we'll go over that one uh, later but for now we're just i'm just going to show you this one here this one worked fine i used it on uh four wheelers and um i think i might have used it on a lawnmower tire but it's a pittsburgh automotive brand uh, that does come with a 90 day warranty. So we're way past that for me to take it back. Uh, now there's two different part numbers. There's six one one seven nine and then there's three four five five two Right now this item is on clearance right now for forty seven ninety seven I think I might have paid 50 or 60 bucks for it back when I bought it. It wasn't super expensive uh, It's called a mini tire changer and it says it'll do tire sizes from 4 to 12 inch rims and then it also says on their uh, website, small vehicles, or golf carts, ATVs, you know, things like that. And it's got the uh, two B breaker handles here. So you have this one here and you have this one here uh, for leverage. Um, it does have the, um, the mount and dismount tool, which I'm guessing that's probably what this here is for. This is the handle and not a handle, but yeah, that could be used to take the tire on and take it off. And again, it's the uh, aluminum centering tool. It's a uh, cone shaped. I'll show you that, but it's kind of messed up. And then the knot, there's supposed to be two nylon spacers, which kind of got messed up. So I just have this piece of like a uh, rubber material in there to uh, help hold it. Now I also had it, I only had this thing mounted on a uh, two by 12 is what I had it mounted on. And that worked fine for changing the uh, ATVs and tires, but you uh, already has pre-drilled holes here in the base here so you can mount it to whatever you want to mount it to so let me uh let me get you closer and i can show you some of the uh damage that was done to it all right guys so basically what we got here uh, we got this piece here now this is threaded this goes on to the all thread and that tightens that goes down on top of this this is the piece that goes onto your rim that holds it down but as you can see it's got some uh cracks on it from where they were um pushing down onto it but like i said i got this piece of rubber on here just to uh take up some uh room in there there's your uh some of your nylon bushings um just to uh, help pin it against it so it doesn't get uh, too destroyed but you got that you got some holes here and like i said you got another pin here if you want to completely dismount this thing you can take it all the way apart it's pretty easy to take apart but that like i said that goes on there and then here you go. Here's the arm I was telling you about. They uh, snapped the end of this off of here, and I had to get the uh, top of it welded back on. They did a uh, pretty decent job. It was this uh, side right here. This side right here is the side that was broken. It was completely broke across the middle here at the bottom. So the uh, welding job was done pretty nicely on that. So I got that back together. I haven't had a chance to use it yet to, uh, to see. But anyway, so here's your dismounting tool that you would use to, once you got the B broken, you can take this around the tire, take it around the tire, and uh, get the tire off the rim, and then you would just use this piece here to push it, push it back on. So, pretty simple design, not a whole lot to it, but like I said, this worked good for, like I said, small ATVs and stuff, and like I said, I never had an issue with it. They weren't getting enough leverage, so they put a big bar on it and just broke everything. But like I said, this this will work good in a pinch, guys. If you don't want to spend a lot of money and you don't want to pay somebody to change your uh, tire on your lawnmower or a small ATV or any other kind of a uh, tire, dirt bike, motorcycle tire, maybe anything like that. All right, guys, I'm gonna say thanks, you guys. God bless and have a great day.